Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will continue to design our sign up page using CSS. So let's not waste time and get started. So first, we are going to reset all the pre stylings out there that are by default. So here in the style.css, firstly, make sure that you are going to link your style.css. So here in the head element itself, we are going to write link our CSS and the style sheet is linked now. Let's save it and let's go to style.css. Now the first thing here is to reset all the styles. So I'll select our document and for the document, we will have a padding of zero and a margin of zero and we will set the border. We will set the box sizing in fact, box sizing to border box. So let me just save it and let's go back to browser and all the styles are now reset. Okay. Next up, we are going to first have a font family. If I open the image, as you can see, it has a different font. So we need to get these two fonts. I'll show you which fonts are these. For that, I'll need to open my browser and we will go to fonts.google.com quickly. So here in my browser, I'll open a new tab and I'll just simply search for Google fonts. And the first link here is the Google fonts link. Now inside the Google fonts link, we are going to search for some of the fonts. We have selected families. I have no one. So here I'm going to search. The first font is going to be DM serif. As you can see this one, DM serif display. And I'll just try to get this font and it's inside here. Okay. And now let me just quickly get the code. So get embed code and we'll be using the import one. So I'll just copy this line here. I'll just copy it and let's go back to VS Code and I'll just place them at the top. Something like this. We'll be needing another font. So let me just go back to Google Fonts and another font that we'll be needing is what we call as DM Sans. So I'll quickly write a DM Sans. This one right here. I'll write, I'll click Get Font and get embed code and the import statement and let's just copy this line quickly press ctrl c to copy and let's just go back to the visual studio code and paste it right here and save it next next thing let's check the browser as you can see the font hasn't changed because we need to target the font family style here so i'll target my body element and for the body element we will have a font family property and it will be set to DM serif display. And in case of a fallback fa font, we will write serif. Let me save it and let's go back to browser. And as you can see, the font has changed now. Okay, now let's start designing our website using CSS. To design our left side of the page, that is we are going to target this left div. So firstly, let me just target this entire section. So let me just give this section a quick ID of container because we only have one section and we can use the ID property here. So I'm going to target this container. So hashtag and then a container. And for this container, what I'm going to do is I'll give it a width of 100%. Let me just save it. And if we go back to the browser, nothing happens because the width by default is 100% here. Next up, what we're going to do is, since I want these both of these to have side by side, so we will use the display flex property so that this icon and text appear on the left side and the get started, this portion appears on the right side. So I will write here, display flex. And let me save it and let's go back to check. As you can see, it is divided into two sides now. All right. But we want, uh, we will give this a height as well for now. So the height is going to be something like 100 view height. So let me save it and let's check and nothing happens, but this will be used later on. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to target this left one. So I'll just write left and starting with the left, we need a blue color. Let me open the image. We need this blue color here. Let me just maximize it. We need this blue color right here. Okay. 
So for this left one, I'm going to have a background color and the color is 023F80. Let me save it and let's go back to check and we have this blue color. All right. After this, the text color should be white. So I'll quickly have text color equal to white or also you can use this hash FFF in short. So I'll write hash FFF that stands for white color itself. So I'll save it. Now, let's go back to browser to check if it is working. As you can see, the text is in white color right now. Next up, after this, we will give it a width of 50%. So I'll just quickly write a width of 50% and save it. If we go and check, as you can see, the page is now equally divided. 50% from this side and 50% from this side as well. Next up, we are going to target this icon and this text. So I'm going to give them a display of flex. So I'll write a display flex and save it. And as you can see, they are side by side. So we need to change the flex direction to column right now. So I'll write flex direction column and save it. And let's go back. And as you can see, they are now on top of each other. Next up, I'm going to do align items center and save it and let's go back to check and they are in center right now we'll also do a justify content center and save it and as you can see they are in complete center right now horizontally as well as vertically let's give them some gap so let's give them a gap of 20 pixels i'll save it and there is a little bit gap of 20 pixels as you can see Let's go back to VS Code. So next we are going to target this icon, this image element right here. So right here, what I'm going to do is I'll write dot icon. That is this div, icon div. Inside icon div, we have an image. So how do I target this image? I'll write dot icon and then this angle bracket. And then I'll write the image tag. Okay. Next, I want to change its width. Let's say something like 90 pixels. Let me save it and let's go back. And as you can see, the width is changed a little bit. Let me just close this one. Okay, let's go back to VS Code. After this, we are going to target this div that has the banner heading inside. So I'll write something like dot banner heading. Now for this, we are going to give it a color. If we open the image, as you can see, it has a goldenish color right here. So we are going to give it the same color. So I'll give it a font color of F9 B D 7 C and let me save it and let's check as you can see the font color changes we need to you know give it a font size we need to make it bigger so quickly I'll give it a font size of, of 42 pixels not 32 but 42 pixels and let me save it and let's go back and as you can see the text is bigger but we can of course change the width here right so what i'm going to do is i'll just take the width property and i'll write the width and let's give something like 400 pixels let me save it and let's check as you can see the width has changed to be more specific i'm going to target the paragraph element here now there is no difference even if i write the width here but to make it more beginner friendly basically i am targeting the banner heading and inside banner heading we have this paragraph tag right and for this paragraph tag what am i going to do is i'm going to give it a width of 400 pixels or let's say 450 pixels now let me just save it and let's go back and yeah it looks all right so if we check the image the final image as you can see it is almost similar to what we have done on the left side here now it's time to design this right side using css so that will be enough for this video in the next video we will continue to design the right side of our sign up page using css so make sure to subscribe to the channel hit that like button and i will see you in the next video